We've been inundated with fans with questions for you on Facebook and Twitter, so we're going to throw a few of them at you. This one's from Adrian Middledorp. You've had a fantastic record this year, but the Hawthorne loss was disappointing. Was it just a bad day, or there are, are there areas of the game the team still needs to work on? Oh, there's still certainly a lot of areas we need to work on as a footy club. Hawthorne was, uh, was also a bad day for us, I think, but... Um, exposed I think and highlighted to us um, what we really need to work on. I mean we let them play the style of footy they wanted to for the full four quarters and I think conceded 150 marks which uh, if you do that against Hawthorne you're, you're never going to be in the game against them so uh, we still had our chances that day and I reckon if we uh, come up against them uh, again later in the year that um, you know we'll, uh, we'll be much better prepared for them. Courtney Hamblin, what is the best thing about being captain of the footy club? Um, the best thing uh, is I suppose about leading such a proud organisation like the Crows is it's um, I mean it's, it's a very enjoyable role and it's um, it's I get to lead such an exciting playing group and they I guess put the trust in me to, to do the right thing by them and uh, I, I guess it's just I mean I, I love playing footy as well so it's um, it's a dream come true to not only be playing AFL footy but to, to be leading a, such a proud organisation as well is just um, you know my wildest dreams come true. Surely there's some perks. You get first dibs at any tickets that are going or any freebies? I try that. I, try to, I don't know. The boys reckon I should try and get a parking space or I should try and, I don't know, get some, some recognition. But the boys, if I did that, I reckon they'd, uh, they'd certainly let me know about it pretty quick. So no, we're all equal down here. Shane Firth getting a little bit carried away perhaps. Do you think the boys are confident enough in themselves as a team to take it all the way this season? Come on, Shane. Come on, mate. Um, Look, it's only early in the year, as we've been saying, and the boys honestly aren't thinking that far ahead um, because, I mean, we've had a really tough draw to date and we just had to make sure that we focus on every week as it comes. And it might sound so boring to people out there, but that's actually the approach that we've, we've had and we need to have moving forward just to make sure that we, we keep focused on our task every week because otherwise, um, you know, you can quickly lose focus and teams will certainly make the most of it and you'll, um, you'll have a, a bad loss and you don't want to flirt with your form. So we just want to keep making sure that we're playing well every week. Craig Hondo, now this is the million or maybe hundreds of thousand dollar question. Do you think we can keep Kurt Tipper and Paddy Dangerfield in Adelaide? Yeah, bloody oath we can, I think. Um, the biggest thing uh, for those two is I think they want to be part of something special. Um, that's why we all, at the end of the day, now that we're playing footy at the highest level, that's what we ultimately want. And for those guys, they've been in the system now a number of years and um, they certainly know what it feels like to, to have a poor year. Um, and also to you know, at the start of this year, start things off really well, and I'm sure they want to see where this playing group can get to. So I've uh, I've got every confidence that both of them will stay. Adrian Beaton has a question on behalf of a lot of men. I think. Tell me, how do you get a rig like Scott Thompson? <laughs> um, live in the gym, sleep in the gym, wake up in the gym, do another set, carry dumbbells around with you. Um, no, he. Oh, Tommy looks after himself pretty well, and he, uh, he certainly does work out pretty hard in the gym. But um, yeah, no, he wasn't always built like that. Uh, growing up, he's shown us photos of him as a real skinny kid, so he's uh, certainly had to work hard with it. But um, he's pretty proud of it now. Bradley Newman, this is a good question. VB, who do you think is the most improved player at the club since Sando has taken over? Most improved player. I've seen some huge improvement, you know, across the board from all our players, but. Someone like a Rory Sloan, who's who's come on leaps and bounds over the pre-season. You know, Paddy Dangerfield's taken his game to another level as well. And part of that, all this improvement with a lot of our list is, is uh, so some credit goes with Sando, but also I think it's the maturity of the group. Just another pre-season under our belt, um, having gone through some tough situations last year to, to learn from that and realise that we need to work harder at uh, improving our game. And i um, just seen some you know, huge improvements through a number of those young guys, which is is the main reason why we've improved so quickly this year and had some, some good results.